Hello everyone! Welcome to Matt Corner! In this video, we will discuss distinguishable permutation. Let us begin! Distinguishable permutation refers to the permutation of a set of objects where some of them are alike. The number of permutations of n objects where p are alike Q are alike, R are alike, and so on is given by the formula n factorial over p factorial times q factorial times r factorial and so on. Let us have some examples. Example number 1. How many distinct permutations can be made from the letters of the word legend? The word legend has 6 letters. The value of n is 6. There are 2 letter is 1L, 1G, 1N, and 1D. Using the formula n factorial over p factorial times q factorial times r factorial and so on, we have 6 factorial over 2 factorial. It is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. Cancel out 2 factorial. We have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 which is equal to 360. There are 360 different permutations. Example number 2. How many distinct permutations can be made from the letters of the word success? The word success has 7 letters. The value of n is 7. S is equal to 3. C is equal to 2. U is equal to 1. And E is equal to 1. Using the formula, we have 7 factorial over... 3 factorial times 2 factorial. 7 factorial is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial becomes 2 times 1. Cancel out common factors. Cancel out 3 factorial. 4 and 2 share a common factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2, and 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 7 times 6 times 5 times 2 is equal to 420. 420 divided by 1 is equal to 420. There are 420 different permutations. Example number 3. In how many ways can 3 red balls and 4 yellow balls be arranged in a row? There are 7 balls. The value of n is 7. Since there are 3 red balls and 4 yellow balls, we have 7 factorial over 3 factorial times 4 factorial. It is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over 3 times 2 times 1 times 4 factorial. Cancel out 4 factorial and cancel out 6 and 3 times 2. We are left with 7 times 5 which is equal to 35. There are 35 ways to arrange the balls in a row. We are done discussing distinguishable permutation or permutation with repetition. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.